Hey, how's it going? So I'm just exiting here. I'm gonna see if this cart will now go over. All right. So about so nice outside. That's one thing about sort of that 45 to 50 55 degree weather with wet pavement, right? When you get outside, you've been hot, you're sweating. You know, I was talking about sports earlier, you're playing indoors, basketball, whatever, exercising the gyms. You come outside, you're like, oh man, it's so nice because it's cool, it's cold, and the ground is damp. Like, I got like no problems being outside because it cools my body down, right? You get so hot running around inside of the gym doing whatever, sports or weightlifting or whatever. You get outside, you're like, oh, I can cool down. My head cools down. My body cools down. You go get in the car. The car's cool. Everything's good, right? basically block this this path again so that's why I got to get there early oh man I'm rolling I'm rolling to the side here school bus coming down here. It must be time to go to school. 7 a.m. Get there by 8. No, no kids on it though, so maybe it's a latcher. A latcher? She's a latcher. She wears purple. Retired. Body's gonna cramp up a bit. She's coming back, she's double latching. She's gonna be aggressive. 65 year old woman driving a car, a boss, whatever. She's gonna come right up on my back, see if she can actually hit me if she's a latcher. Sort of an assassination attempt, no big deal. It'll be stopped, but it's a pain in the butt. She might use the horn, might start honking, say I'm in violation, you gotta deal with unknown cops, people don't know what they're doing. It just becomes kind of a problem. So.
sometimes people move. They'll pop up right out of nowhere. Do they know what they're doing? They used to definitely some of them not know what they're doing. Now if they pop up, they know what they're doing. But it hasn't happened, you know. Every time you think you need it, you need someone to pop up, they don't show up. So you say, well, it's aggressive, it's concerning basically. those Charles Barkley legs. Big, strong, 6'4". Sometimes you get too much weight. When I get older, my legs kept touching. I was like, why do my legs always touch, man? It's crazy. Every time I try to walk anywhere, I get, you know, sore and raw thighs. I'm like, why do I have raw thighs, man? Because your legs touch. Well, do I need to lose weight? No, how about gain weight? If you gain weight, your thighs rub even more. What are you gonna do? You know? You look at some of these fighters, these UFC guys. The thighs always touch. Like you can't run miles. You can't go running, right? I guess you don't need to, you know. women too. Black women are like, I can't believe you know, how she walks around her community with thighs that are rubbing so much. I mean, uh, Prince Alp, Diamonds and Pearls, a woman on the cover. She's got like three or three and a half, four inches of cleavage. That's here, right? But then you're out in public or whatever, you're talking to people. This woman's thighs, you know, rub together five, six, seven inches of thigh rubbing, you're like, you're like, you know, you're gonna get raw every day, you know? Every day, you know, you gotta walk to the store or whatever, the thighs are just gonna get so red. It's like they get red, they get raw. Like, what are you gonna do, basically? I'm just gonna stay in the street. So, I mean, some of the bodies, man. You know, the Latin guys, the black guys, they talk about the butts, the booties, all the twerking going on. You're like, these bodies, man. You can't walk anywhere. And then the heels, they put the platforms on the heels. You're like, that's a two inch platform on a four inch heel. You're like, that's astronomical. It's like six inches of height on a shoe that's got like, a narrowing base, you can't walk in that. You go to the Dom Fetish Heels, they're like a seven inch boot on a tiptoe with heavy, heavy laces. Like this Russian woman, she's got black pants. She's about 5'8 with a seven inch heel that's a tiptoe, glossy black shoe. Hard laces. Like, why she got hard laces and all this stuff, right? You can't walk. You look like a tower that's, like, gonna fall over. It's out of control, man.
fixes. So this droops and then we lift. So you can eliminate droop if you go to the top of the droop and readjust. That's how you do it. That's why we like bike lanes. Bike lanes unequivocally are for people to rest who are pedestrians. But I didn't bring a soda or a water, but I am gonna open and have a water. Oh, it's gonna be warm temperature. Just gonna stand here in the bike lane for a minute, have a water. A little bit clammy, but other than that, it tastes good. All right. I'm gonna have to block the road again, but I'm gonna use the bike lane. The sidewalk, I don't wanna get into that snow down there.
Look at all that pollution and exhaust coming off. Whatever they'd be carrying, you know. Elementary school teacher at Medina Elementary. She did the enrichment program, Jan Tuller. She's an older woman, about 65, black hair, dark features, a little bit of dark eyes. You had to be accepted in the enrichment program. It was special. You know, you had to take a test, right? You sit down, you do the puzzles, uh, you can go into this enrichment program. The other kids in there, there was Jed, Jed Darlin, Jason Otten, Kimberly Crick, who else? Kevin Mebo, Sarah Wise, who else? Diego Bartholomew, Jason, and I think Diego and another guy. They did, they did a, uh, they did a Taj Mahal, a 3D model of a Taj Mahal. You would not believe how detailed this thing was. You had to do projects. You got a reader wheel, had about 12 or 16 books on the outside. So you read on the outside, and then the inside of the, the wheel, you read on the inside. And then you got points, right? If you finish the whole thing, you got like 1,000 points. She kept, the, she kept the track of the points. Then the end of the year, you do an auction. You bring stuff in. And you could sell the stuff you brought in. One year, a guy brought in an authentic bowling pin, okay? Kid brought in an authentic bowling pin. I don't know who it was. And I bid on it, and I won. Other kids, their parents, you buy candy or whatever, or you buy just, like, kitschy stuff, junk. You know, junk in video games or whatever that you see now, right? You bring it in, right? Like, a bowling pin, right? I was like, hey, how cool could a bowling pin be, right? You know? I mean... It's like, you know, the, the bowling alley is never going to give you one. They're never going to sell you one either. When else would you ever be able to hold a bowling pin, right? When you go bowling, they're all the way down the, the, all the, way down the bowling alley. You can't get down there, right? So I was like, that's kind of cool. And then you get some candy and stuff like that. And then some of the kids, most of the kids wanted to try to get into it because what you did is you left your main teacher for two hours a day, right? 10 to noon or 10 to 11.30, 9.30 to 11.30 whatever. Guy grew up with Charlie Walsh. I think some of the kids could go in it, but they decided not to. I think Charlie was one of those people. Charlie was a 
sort of a good, good, good athlete basketball player. He just made some of the traveling teams that I didn't make, like the basketball team. I think he just made AU or just made traveling. Real tough competitor. I, re- I thought he had actually died, but he's actually alive. I saw, I saw some photos, which is good. But, yeah, like, you know, some of the kids, they said, we don't want to do it. We'd just rather stay in our main class. And, like, you know, Charlie was one of those people. But I had to have some difference. I had to have some way to get out of there. You know, sit in the same class six hours a day or whatever. You know, recess in the morning, a couple snack breaks, recess after lunch. I got to do something different. Meet other kids, do something with other kids or whatever. And you learn about stuff. You learn about the knowledge theory, right? The hypothesis, the invention, you know, all that stuff. I guess I'm technically not supposed to go through the whole thing. You play chess, too. You learn how to play chess. You play other students in chess. Um, you read book. You didn't read books. You learned computer coding, too. They had old, um, I don't know what the programming was. It was like before IBM or something. You know, use the go-to command, G-O-T-O, and then enter or whatever. You know, but you didn't really understand it, right? You're like, all right, well, you know, what, what are we going to do here or whatever? They had a computers in the center. And then, uh, here, check it out. Guy's driving a Maserati right here. See, they say there's no bank here. There's bank here. So, um, so yeah, so I was like, Oh yeah, you know, you know, you learn a little bit of the program. It had blue, it had a blue screen, not a blue screen to death like Microsoft, but like blue type text, right? It was a terminal type thing, right? Which they've totally gotten rid of. You got Windows and iOS and all that stuff, but it basically had a, you know, a, a terminal screen, terminal entry. I don't know, I think it was before IBM. I don't know what it was, but you know, you could sort of try to learn a little bit about it. And then you had competition. Jeff Linville was in the class. We did a, a car ramp with Legos that I think they went on to do a competition. I don't think I did or whatever. But basically, you put the Legos together that had kind of an axle and rubber wheels and a frame, just like small, and then you run it down a ramp and see how far it can go. See how efficient, you know, your Lego vehicle can go. It was kind of a fun project, you know. I guess Lego had started branching off into the technical Lego stuff. And it was cool because you'd see that kids could do sports at that level and intelligence, which you didn't always see, right? The guys you saw in the NFL and the NBA, looking back on it now, you didn't know then, right? They'd gotten so many head injuries, right? You know, like the boxers, they get hit over and over and over again. By the time you're done with five fights, right, you know, you, you need real help mentally, right? So at the time as a kid, right, you'd see the, you know, kids that were good athletes, right? But, you know, they could also do smart stuff, too. Because what you saw on TV, not always, right? But a lot of times you saw these athletes, you know, they're football players, and they've been hit in the head. You didn't know it, but they'd interview them or you'd talk to them, right? And they'd have a, you know, they'd say they have a disease or a stumbling or something like that. And you're like, you know, you know, know, you'll you'll be a real jock, right? You'll be awesome at sports, but you'll be dumb, right? You know, you're dumb if you're a jock or whatever. If you run around, play football, you'll be stupid or something like that. You know, if you're dumb, go, you know, go play hockey or football or whatever, boxing, right? You didn't have fighting. Fighting was illegal. You didn't have any televised fighting, no MMA. There was, there was hidden martial art contest. You had to go to a seminar or something like that. But you couldn't just watch, you know, bare knuckle fighting. It was totally illegal. The only thing you could see even on a $65 night HBO pay-per-view, was boxing, right? None of this Dana White, you know, padded gloves, bare knuckle, fighting or whatever, right? It was banned. It was outlawed. So you didn't see any of that. You saw boxing, hockey, football, you know, guys that would be all bruised and stuff. Anyway, I got to get going. Somebody's going to stop or whatever. But that was the thing about the enrichment program was that... <coughs> You could see other kids that were smart and they were good athletes, right? At the time, in elementary school, right? Because it was first grade through fifth. So you didn't always know what the deal was, right? Like, you know, like black people that were good athletes, do they need to be smarter, right? You know, or are they getting head injuries, right? You didn't realize it. So they launched in the 80s all the football ECF, right? You had NFL ECF claims that, you know, they're wearing the Riddell helmets, and they're getting hit in the head. 
and you know they got problems because you get hit in the head with these you know Riddell helmets or whatever they're not protecting you you know whatever else I mean you had other claims too right extra practices you know bad automobiles car accidents you know and and then drugs became so hyped you had presidents like Reagan and Bush and Clinton championing you know the right to quit drugs it was drug abuse it was the crack epidemic in the 80s cocaine crack it's causing permanent brain damage right this man you know has entered the Alcoholics Anonymous program we've taken a scan of his brain he's a white man he's 40 years old he's had 25 years of cocaine abuse his brain he's missing a section in his brain that is grayed or blurred because of brain damage right people have to quit doing drugs right they get permanent brain damage right you know what is it with the athletes right they get hit they make so many millions of dollars and then they have a drug addiction Bobby Brown Whitney Houston right Bobby Brown pop singer my prerogative right as popular in the 80s as anyone else right entered into drug and rehab alcohol concern rehabilitation right red sonia what's her name not natasha kinski red sonia real big tall blonde woman she goes down into the drug stuff she surfaces later on the reality tv shows making money on tv but definitely damaged you know women entering into all the plastic surgery jobs getting all that stuff done so maybe it looks better for younger women, their daughters, you know. No, Howard Stern always talked about Natasha Henstridge. He talked about that woman nonstop in the 90s. I moved down to LA. I said, I can't listen to this guy anymore. He talks about three women, Jenna Jameson, Natasha Henstridge, and Brianna Banks non-stop every morning 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. every day I couldn't wake up at 5 <laughs> wake up at 5 to 6 I was in bed but I got up by 6 I drive my car my old Bronco 2 down to the Culver City pool to get some exercise oh I almost tipped there holy um I'm gonna pop out of this Anyway, um, so, yeah, so I drive down to the Culver City Pool. It's like 50 cents. I think it initially was free. Then they charged 50 cents. They went to $1.50 a day or whatever. Then, like, a city park membership. You swim laps, lightly salinated pool. Felt great. You drive home, however long it takes to get home. And you make eggs. I had a little bit of money, barely any money. Five bucks, three bucks, whatever. You get a, you get a carton of eggs an onion and some cheese, maybe some butter. You need a butter. If you don't have butter, it sticks to the pan. You make a big batch of eggs and you sit there. Eventually, I said, I can't listen to this guy anymore. He's rambling on and on about all these adult women stars that come in and they're all, you know, angry or whatever, eventually, right? The late 90s. And then you got Robin. Robin cackles and laughs, <laughs> but she keeps them mellow, right? Like, I'm done listening to this guy forever. I don't know. A couple years later, I I must have gone back to work in a warehouse or something. It's like somebody in Everly says, we, the only thing we listen to is Howard Stern in the morning. You're like, all right, well, you know, it's not my radio or whatever. But that's what he did. Three women in the 90s, late 90s. That's all he talked about. Natasha Henstridge, Jenna Jameson, and Brianna Banks. I said, I'm done. I can't listen to him. So I'm back into the park near home. Oh no no, no I gotta go. I gotta go the other way. There's snow up this way. Sometimes you don't even know what the women look like. They talk about them. They talk about them. They talk about them. In the late '90s, you get an internet. It's my first internet computer. 
What do they look like? There's like five different women with the same name. So eventually, Jenna Jameson had to become a millionaire. The first adult star performer millionaire. Publicly. Whether privately or publicly. Whatever. You know, some of the women, they, they did a, a photo shoot on the cover. They got a fancy car or whatever. In public, right? But they had to admit, Jenna Jameson was a millionaire. A million dollars in the bank. Became some type of a big deal, right? Because a lot of times you go on the internet, like, oh, who's this woman? She's a, you know, real sexy actress. You look her up. It's like 40 different women, 900 different websites, 5 million results. You're like, this is a mess. Windows start popping up. You know, you remember some teacher in high school or something giving an introductory internet course. Make sure you block pop-up windows. I mean, the whole computer, the whole browser just starts exploding. Pop, 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 Over and over and over again. You're like, I can't close 90 windows in 30 seconds. Who am I looking at? You know, they're all adult sites. Spamma, 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 spamma. Right? It's like you go into the video store, you're like, that one's got a pretty cover. That one's got like 90 different photos with stars and crap on it. You're like, I can't deal with that. I mean, that doesn't look really presentable or respectful. And then the internet, you're like, I got 90 pop-up windows over and over and over again. Pop, 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 pop. What does this woman look like? Years, their appearance has all changed. They got plastic surgery, body enhancements, the whole thing, you name it, good and bad. Better, 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 better. Like, who the heck is going on here? And then you're like, she's going to die. She died. She passed away. You're like, what? What happened? Who wasn't there? Who didn't show up? What happened? All right, so I'm back in my building. We're going to go get in the elevator and head on up to my apartment. There might be a minor disruption in entering the elevator, but hopefully we'll make it in there okay. The other problem, I was talking about this, when it gets cold, if this is in an outer pocket, this petroleum product, right, it hardens. You can't actually get it out of the tube, right? It comes out real slow. You get barely any until you can warm it on your lips. It's a downside of this, right? You need it in a pocket close to your body if you're going to be in a cold area. Just about at the end here. Just about at the end. These wheels are not going over these rugs to enter the building, stuff like that. I got a jammer coming in. It's gonna try to break it. We don't share, we don't share the elevator.
Bridget Nielsen. That's her name. Red Sonia with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Big uh, medieval movie. Oh, come on. Get this over here. All right. Now we're just going to hang out. i got to plug in the phone so that I charge the battery. It's warm in here. Almost too warm, but it's better than being too cold. And I did this right but wrong. I gotta change this. Okay, so this has gotta go here. This goes here. Oh man, it's hot. I gotta I turn on the air conditioner. You would have never thought from my first year in LA that I would ever have air conditioning in my own apartment. I might have it, but it wouldn't work. I'd be told not to use it. It costs too much electricity. It'd be broken all the time. But I never thought. Listen to Woody Harrelson. Back then, he started going off into the experimental stuff. He's like, you know, I don't use air conditioner because of negatively charged ions. I'm like, I'm on the bandwagon. Cut the air conditioning. No AC, man. It got hot in LA in an apartment. I didn't have direct sunlight, but... It got hot, man. Hot. Later, I guess he did a he did a, a movie where it went all the way into like veggie fruit paste. He starts making veggie fruit paste, green green power paste, right? Some sweet berries, some ground up vegetables or whatever. Eventually, makes sort of a fruit paste. Who knows, man? He eventually calmed down or whatever, but. Still does acting and stuff. He did that movie, Natural Born Killers. Forgot who the co-actress was. I mean, shaves his head, right? He's supposed to be this farm boy on Cheers or whatever. Starts doing the basketball games, the hustling movies. Next thing you know, he's doing some psycho killer movie. You're like, what the heck's happened in the late 90s? You got Brad Pitt. I was talking about that. Uh, there was a woman in Japan. Maybe Japan or Korea. I can't remember. Taiwan, Japan, or Korea. Goes out for dinner. Somehow we were guys talking about movies. I was texting. I'm chatting, right? Brad Pitt, the movie Seven. It's a terrible David Fincher movie. You know, totally violent, gory. I mean, you had some of those movies. These actors, you didn't think we're going to do these gory movies. They all of a sudden start doing them. <coughs> they were mainstream actors. They start doing real heavy violent stuff. You're like, what the heck's going on? All right, so the soda's got to get put away. The water's got to get put away. And I got to get some in the refrigerator. Get them cooled down. time we got 8 a.m. under 10 minutes after 8 it's all right no calls from craigslist so i say you post it's better you'll hear from somebody later
Put all the waters away. Back is going to start to hurt. Just kind of deal with it. When I finish this, I'm going to sit down and play my video game. When I play my video game, I'm going to buy my products on the video game. That's what I'm going to do. I have money. I don't have a car. I'm going to buy products in the video game. I can stream the video game, but it's competitive and I might not. I don't know, because I tried to get my face on the screen. I couldn't. All those streamers, they put their face on the screen with the video game. You see them and the video game. Mine ends up just being a video game. Cola, it was less expensive. I can get one can of Coca Cola. What I may do is use the bottles of Dr. Pepper that I have instead so I can refill. Refill and save the one can of Coca Cola I have left. I sometimes prefer it other than the other sodas. There are some American brands. computer and play my game, buy my products.
I gotta keep this plugged in. You can see me play right here. You see it? All right. What am I gonna buy in the game? I've sunk so much money in the game. But it seems okay because I can stay home and play it. Oh, it's gonna tilt. That's fine. I'm actually gonna leave it tilted. All right, let's go into the game. I'm not gonna stream. It takes too much energy. Right, let's get to the morning play time game. Not play time like my daughter, like play like as in, you know, in the morning, right? Like a cup of coffee, right? Some of it's not. All right. I don't know who that player is. All right. That's the first thing we got to look at.
All right, I'm going to end there. I hope you have a good day, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.